What's up everybody? So we're here at the swap meet again. Um, actually it's the Rubido swap meet again, but um, I'm here for a reason. There's a reseller who has um, a fairly rare game for the NES and uh, I brought a few games to trade him. So hopefully, you know, he takes what I give him. I brought some pretty good stuff um, and, you know, hopefully I get the game and uh, if I do, I'll show you guys. So uh, yeah, let's, let's see, you know, if I can find anything else out there and hopefully I get that game. So yeah, let's see what's out there. ¿Y qué ha hecho, compa? Pues nada, Kira. Echándole. Deme 10 para que se la lleve. Y si trabaja bien, ¿eh? Buddy, just turn the turn the part on it, and it'll start going. Kind of Lego game. That was a Marvel Lego. Marvel Lego. But also, there's a, a Pro Adventures in 
Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. We're all done here. It is freaking hot right now. It's you know barely 10 o'clock and it's too it's too hot. So taking off. Um, got some okay stuff. The the guy that I wanted to do some trades with, he wasn't there. So uh, next time. Um, but I did I did make a trade with another vendor there and I got some pretty good stuff uh, bases loaded three super dodgeball um, some other like uh, Jurassic Park for the NES so some other you know more obscure titles for the NES and then a couple other NES games all I got was NES games today so pretty pretty good um, not a bad day uh, I think in total I only spent six bucks so and then and then uh, I bought Matt in a, a Skylander for uh, five bucks so pretty cool um, but yeah, I'm on my way home right now, so I'll get everything I got from the swap meet together and uh, show you guys what I got. What's up, everybody? So, I'm all done with the swap meet stuff. Um, <clears throat> I got some pretty good stuff. All NES games. That's all, all I got um, at the swap meet. Um, I got uh, only two two boots I got stuff from. Um, but some, some pretty good games. One of which uh, I paid for the games, and the other one was a straight trade of stuff that I brought along with me. Um, because... My whole reason for going back to the Rubido swap meet um, this time was uh, there was another uh, like a reseller vendor and he had a pretty pretty rare NES game and uh, I brought some some better stuff to to trade with him but he wasn't there so I used like some of the the lower end stuff that I brought um, to trade for a stack of NES games from another reseller vendor um, but yeah I got uh, I'll show you those games first and then um, another little uh like delivery from uh the guy that i met on uh saturday he he's uh he's, he's been meeting me in front of my um in front of my place uh like bringing me bundles of st stuff that he keeps finding and, and i'm supposed to be getting um a few more items from him so i got that to show you too so let's jump into the nes games all right first uh yeah you know, I, I i found a lot of games um, that day at the swap meet, but nothing really that, you know, that I wanted for my collection or that I needed. Um, and, and some of the stuff with the prices were a little more than I wanted to pay. So I passed up on a lot of stuff. Um, but this one, this was a pretty good deal for, uh, six bucks. I got, uh, three games, um, pretty much paid $3 for the first two. I'll show you. And the last one was just a freebie because of the condition. Um, all right. First, uh, I've got a load runner. All this stuff I didn't have in my collection, so definitely uh, stuff I'm keeping. Next, uh, I tried getting this Blockbuster sticker off. I got to work a little more at it, but I mean, sometimes these Blockbuster stickers are just a nightmare. But I mean, it's on the cart. It wasn't on the label, and this label is actually in really nice condition. Uh, Circus Caper. You see the Blockbuster sticker right there. I'll, I'll get it off. I'll be able to get it off. It's just sometimes these stickers are a pain in the butt. And it, they just throw stickers on them everywhere. Um, but yeah, Circus Caper. Pretty nice condition there. And then this was the one that was in horrible condition, but he just pretty much gave it to me. I didn't have it anyway, so... I mean, it plays. But that's all that really matters. Uh, who Framed Roger Rabbit? So, you can see the label is just jacked up. Um, but the game plays, so it's cool. Um, I'm sure I'll find it again and, you know, do a label upgrade. Alright, now this stack... I traded uh, a couple in 64 games. I had um, uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, and the label was really faded, and then uh, Diddy Kong Racing, um, and I traded those two for the stack. And I, I mean, just going through like the values of these games, I thought it was a pretty good deal. So, um, I'm you know I'm happy that that she decided to, to trade. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this stack. So first. Uh, this one's kind of funny, but I didn't have it in my collection, so... Uh, the Little Mermaid, and it came in the sleeve. Really nice. I mean, all these games are in, like, fantastic condition, so... She definitely takes care of her games or cleans them up when she gets them and stuff, so... And these were all new games that she hasn't... She hadn't put out yet, so... Um, bases loaded three. So now I have one, two, and three. I just need number four, the hardest one to find. Um, Back to the Future... Like I said, again, these labels are just almost mint. You know, really nice condition. This one's a good one right here. Popeye. 
I actually have this game already, but mine, the label was really faded, so definitely an upgrade for mine. And then this is a nice one. We've got uh, Jurassic Park, and it came with the manual. So that was a nice grab right there. Another sleeve. And then this last one, this is the best one, um, probably the most valuable, like around like 20, 25 bucks, or pr probably more towards 20, 15 to 20. Um, but this is a, a harder one to find, uh, Super Dodgeball. And again, in fantastic condition, so definitely uh, happy to get that one in my collection. Um, that was it, like I said, I just did a straight trade for some N64 games. Um, so that was it from the swap meet stuff. Okay, now this was the stuff this guy brought me this time, and I paid 15 bucks for it. So let's show you. This part was pretty much just a freebie. Um, but, I mean, it turns on and stuff, but it's not going to ever work. So I got this junky GameCube. He didn't want, he was just going to throw it away, so I figured, you know, I can, if anything, I can use the panels on the bottom. But it's missing that top thing, and on the inside, uh... It doesn't even have the part where the disc would go, so <laughs> it's that it's completely broken and trash. So, I mean parts, whatever. Um, and then uh, some cables. First, uh, he had given me an Xbox console before, but it didn't have any cables. So this time he had uh, the Xbox uh, TV cable. So I got that, and I was able to test that Xbox, and it because that was the only thing I didn't have an extra one of these. Um, and then, uh, this is like a extension cable for the Super Nintendo or something. And then, I don't know what the heck this is. It's missing something on it, but some sort of, uh, wireless thing for the Super Nintendo. So, there's that. And then, uh, alright, Super Nintendo console. E everything works on it, um really you know it's, it's it's a little faded a little yellow on the top and stuff but it works so it's pretty good i i i've i've found a few super nintendos the past few weeks and they've all worked there's been times where i found super nintendos and they looked really clean but they had the black screen you know nothing worked but the past few ones that i found they've all worked um so yeah and then um lastly uh one game and this is a pretty good game um, I already had it, so uh, this this one was actually the one from my collection, but I had already gotten rid of the one that, that he gave me, uh, Killer Instinct Gold. So, pretty cool. Um, I paid 15 bucks for that stuff, so not a bad deal. He's supposed to, he says he's got like a whole bunch more games and consoles and the cables for a bunch of the consoles that he gave me and all that stuff. He's just got to dig it up, so I told him just take the next few days because he was giving me stuff like every day for the past like week so um I told him just take a few days and find everything you can until there's nothing left and then bring it to me and we'll, we'll go from there so hopefully you know he brings some really good stuff some hard to find games I mean it's kinda weird that he has all this stuff because he doesn't look like the type to even play video games but I mean he's just got a bunch of stuff that he had in boxes and stuff so we'll see what he brings but I'm definitely definitely glad to have met that guy because this is a lot of good stuff that he's brought me um, but yeah, that is everything. So, um, I know I've been reading, you know, a lot of your comments and a lot of you guys want me to do like a, um, collection video. So I was, I was thinking about it, like, uh, maybe I can do, I, I, I don't, it, it would take too long to do like my whole collection in one video. So I was thinking maybe I do like a system at a time kind of collection. So maybe I'll start with like my N64 cause, uh, that's, that, that collection is pretty close to being complete. Um, so, you know, I, I'll show you like all my different consoles and stuff like that. Cause I got a lot of stuff for the N64 and then, you know, um, we'll go from there. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out, you know, which ones to do next. Uh, you know, I got a lot of good stuff for Super Nintendo, um, NES, uh, a lot of, a lot of really good games for Sega. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll do something like that. Um, I'll probably start, like I said, with the N64 collection. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you guys think about that idea. Um, you know, if you want me to just show you everything I got all at once or, or maybe you know s split it up just because of time constraints you know like it's, it would it would take a while because I got a lot of stuff so 
it would take it would take a while to do it all in one video and I want to do it you know I want to do it right so um, yeah just let me let me know in the comments down below um, what you guys think and uh, yeah that's all I got for you guys for the swap meet stuff so uh, thumbs up the video comment subscribe and thanks for watching see you next time